All right, I didn't see any White's Journeyman shoes on YouTube, so I'm just gonna make a quick review for you guys. This is the box. See, I got 10 and a half. On the website, it says to get a half size smaller. So I usually wear 11D, so I got a 10 and a half D. This is what you have inside. This is my first time opening them too. Let's see. All right. Uh, doesn't have laces. These are steel toed. show you what it has apparently it's got lead all right here are the laces i'm gonna try on the ten and a halves on the website i did the measurement on my feet because they have this little chart and apparently was saying i was a 10 d and so i tried to call them and let them know hey you know what could you change my ten and a half to a 10 d and they said, oh, well, we've already made an order. It's already been shipped out. So right now, I'm just going to try these on for y'all. Let y'all know these are low arch. It says for the high arch boots, you got to have a full size down. And so I'm going to put the laces on these. I'm going to try them on. And I'm going to let you guys know if it fits me or not. Just going half a size down, what they recommend in the first place. All right. All right, so I put on these athletic socks are about as thick as some work socks it's gonna be pretty hard for me to put these on with one hand while recording so i'm gonna cut this off and i'm gonna let y'all know once i put them on how they feel these are pretty hard to put on my foot is getting stuck around there i know just because of this they're gonna have a pretty long breaking period so i will update y'all in the comments or in the description once i break them in how long it takes to break them in but I work in an office trailer, construction side. I'm an engineer, so it's not like I'm going to be out in the field walking around in quite a bit. It might take a little longer to break them in than some others, but I will keep you all updated. All right, so what the website said, going half size down for my foot. In this case, it does seem like it's correct. I looked up on Google how a foot should, how a foot should fit in a boot, and it says it shouldn't the heel shouldn't rub up and down on the back. And also you should have about an inch clearance in the front. And so my toes, they end around here. So it's got like maybe an inch and a quarter on both of these. Um, tightness, I can feel this part right here is going to start giving me blisters in the future. This right here, it's not so bad on this side. Look, you can see how my toe... How my foot kind of sticks out right here. Comfortable, I would say not right now, but once these break in, let's say it takes them a month to break in or something, and I'm over the torture, uh, these do feel like they're gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna walk around them in a bit, just a bit. Pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna keep these. I don't think the size 10D recommended by that chart was good. I think my feet, they measured at like 10, 15, 16 of an inch. And no, it was just a 16th inch off the next size. So I'm glad I went with the 10 and a half. Y'all let me know if you have any questions. I'll reply in the comments. Keep you guys updated, like I said. Don't subscribe. That's weird. I'm not. I don't post. I was just trying to make a favor here. Goodbye.